in my house, we quite like to scare each other. Not in a big way, just in little ways. For example, jumping out from behind the door or sneaking up behind someone whispering in their ear. Just to clarify, when I say we like to scare each other, I'm probably not speaking on behalf of everyone in the household. It can be scary to be surprised that someone is near when we did not think they were. With God, he is always near us, not in a surprising or scary way, but in a gentle, reassuring, strengthening way. God is with you now. God is with you tomorrow. God is with you wherever you go. And when I say God, we can think of all three persons, the Father, the Son and the Spirit. The Spirit dwells in our hearts through faith. The Son, our friend and saviour, is sat at the right hand of the Father in heaven. But we are in relationship with him. We talk to him and in a mysterious way, he is near to us. And the Father, our Heavenly Father, is near us. All three persons of God are with us. It could be sometimes we are unaware of God's presence. We forget God is near. We neglect to consider God is near and we become too busy to stop and think about it or enjoy it. So take a moment today to consider God being with you. God is present. Be still and know God. In the chaos, God is here. In the silence, God is here. In the joys, God is here. In the sufferings, God is here. God is here now and always. Try not to wait until things go wrong to look for God. Be aware of his presence now. God is with us. He is near. He is present. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Hallelujah. Let's pray. Almighty Father, who in your great mercy gladden the disciples with the sight of the risen Lord, give us such knowledge of his presence with us now that we may be strengthened and sustained by his risen life and serve you continually in righteousness and truth through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.